April. I'm also pleased today to be joined with uh, Minister Hagee virtually and right here in person with Dr. Fitzgerald to report that we have maintained our good run at no active cases of COVID-19 in Newfoundland and Labrador. Today, as been mentioned already, marks day seven with no known active cases, but it also marks day 27 without a new confirmed case. This proves that collectively as a province, we have come together to do our very best in following the public health measures that have been put in place. Now, as we move into alert level two tomorrow, our focus is to control transmission of this virus while further reopening social and business activities, which ultimately means that we get more residents, you know, back to work and back to their regular office environments, but we must do so safely. As we all know too well, in order to be successful, we must remain vigilant. Things like wearing a mask and practicing physical distancing is our new normal. So let's continue to work together as we move forward. Our plan and our life with COVID is doing just that. Over the past few weeks, there has been a lot of discussion, a lot of questions about traveling to the province and creating an Atlantic bubble. Last night, I met with my colleagues in Atlantic Canada uh, Premier Blaine Iggs in uh, New Brunswick, Premier Dennis King in Prince Edward Island, and Premier uh, uh, Stephen McNeil in Nova Scotia. And we had a discussion about what an Atlantic bubble would look like and what restrictions would be put in place. And over the last few days, public health officials have also been meeting on this very topic. So earlier today, we released a statement through the Council of Atlantic Premiers that we have committed to easing travel restrictions in Atlantic Canada. The number of COVID-19 cases remain low in each of the four Atlantic provinces. So a decision was made to create an Atlantic bubble. So the question will be then, how will that work? As of next Friday, July 3rd, residents in all four Atlantic provinces will now be permitted to travel to Newfoundland and Labrador, to New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. And they can do so without the requirement to self-isolate for 14 days. The thing to remember is that this does not apply to visitors from other Canadian provinces or territories. Now, travelers outside of Atlantic Canada must adhere to the entry requirements in place in each of the four provinces. So if you know someone from outside of Atlantic Canada who plans on traveling to Newfoundland and Labrador, they must self-isolate for 14 days before they can travel within the province. The decision to ease travel restrictions within Atlantic Canada was guided by all of the provincial chief medical officers of health. Decisions like this one are not taken lightly. As this Atlantic bubble opens, it will, close, it will be closely monitored as we remain committed to working together to support economic and social recovery while ensuring public health and safety measures for all our residents. So while traveling among amongst Atlantic provinces, well, that's easing, but all public health directors for each province must be adhered to. This includes not traveling if you have any symptoms of COVID-19, and you must always practice physical distancing and good hand hygiene. Now, if you have any questions about Alert Level 2 or traveling to Newfoundland and Labrador, we once again ask you to visit our website, gov.nl.ca, forward slash COVID-19. Our website, once again, is the latest, most up-to-date information. It is your trusted source of all things related to COVID. Now, one other consideration as we open up is the close family ties that we have to provinces like Alberta and Ontario. We have many families and friends who have not been able to reunite during this pandemic. Many have had to deal with some significant family situations during this time. So we would also like to say that if all goes well in both alert level two and the easing of travel restrictions in the Atlantic bubble, our plan will be to further ease travel restrictions. So again, what does that mean? So as an example, if those of you who have family and friends who are waiting to visit from another Canadian province like Alberta and Ontario, where we have many family and friends, we would permit, permit travelers from other parts of Canada starting around Friday, uh, July 17th. Now, this can only be possible if we get favorable results in the days and weeks leading into July 17th. 
So in order for this to work, we must have to maintain good public health measures. We will never hesitate to go back if we have to. Your actions today will determine our results of tomorrow. So continue to wear a mask, wash your hands, practice safe physical distancing. So once again, we need to thank you for the great work that you have done so far. We are at this point right now because of the great strides that we have made together. So let's keep the momentum going as we ease travel restrictions, reopen the economy, reopen social activities, and transition people back into our offices. It is only by working together that we can continue the success by, keep it, by keeping COVID at bay in Newfoundland and Labrador. As we take advantage of the great weather and get out and explore the place that we all love and we call home, let's also remember to shop and support local businesses. Let's take some time to think about where you want to spend your staycation this year. What part of our beautiful province that you have yet to visit? There are countless of attractions and craft shops and restaurants and places to stay right here at home in Newfoundland and Labrador. The people that own and run these businesses are our families and their friends, they're our neighbors. So these are the local businesses that support many of our community organizations throughout the year. It's these businesses that connect us and bring us back to our roots and our culture. Now, before I conclude my remarks for today and before I pass it over to the minister for his comments, a reminder to everyone is that our next briefing would typically be next Wednesday, July 1st. Of course, this is Memorial Day and Canada Day in Newfoundland and Labrador, so we will not be holding a briefing on that day, but we will be in touch in the coming days about our plan for the next week's briefing. So until then, I hope that you will get out and enjoy the great weather, but please do it in the safest manner possible. We have to make sure that we can still have some fun while staying safe. By doing this, we'll continue to see these great results as we move our province forward. As Dr. Fitzgerald said, it takes patience and we thank you for your support. We put a plan in place, so let's stick with the plan. It is working. I will now pass it over to the Minister Hagee.